Israeli forces have killed three Palestinians in Jaba, south of Jenin, in the occupied West Bank. They were traveling in a car that witnesses say was targeted by snipers on rooftops. Israel says the Palestinians were fighters carrying weapons and explosives. We're going to go live to Nida Ibrahim, who's joining us from Ramallah. What more do we know, Nida? According to local witnesses, they say that the Israeli forces have uh, shot heavily at a car in Jenin that at least two people were in. Now, according to the Israeli army, they say that they were trying to arrest the men when they uh, uh, engaged in an exchange of fire with the Israeli forces. Now, according to witnesses there, this did not happen. That's why people there are calling it an assassination of these three men. They were uh, imprisoned by the Israeli forces and they were released just recently. And we've been hearing from uh, Palestinians in Jenin that they will continue the fight we were there yesterday with Palestinians who have buried uh, six Palestinians after they were killed in an Israeli raid. Uh, Palestinians say that Israel only understands the language of force, that they will keep on the fight and they will not be deterred by these Israeli actions. Also in Jenin, uh, a 14-year-old boy has succumbed to his wounds after he was wounded a few days ago by Israeli forces. Uh, he uh, is a 14-year-old. This raises the death toll just since the beginning of this year to 78 Palestinians. Uh, Nida, over the last couple of weeks or so, there have been efforts to try to find some sort of way of de-escalating this situation. We saw meetings that were happening in, in Aqaba, in Jordan, for example. Is there any sign at all that those efforts are actually having any effect? It's clear that Israel is not stopping its raid to the occupied West Bank. Just two days after those understandings were reached to meet in Aqaba, Israel raided Nablus and killed 10 Palestinians, 11 actually, Palestinians in one raid. So if you look at the situation on the ground, Palestinians would tell you that the cause for their resistance is the Israeli occupation. And this is why they will continue the fight. But when it comes to Israel, it says that uh, it will not allow those armed men that have been uh, uh, um, increasing all across the occupied West Bank to continue. We see this phenomena that has started in Jenin, but has moved also to Nablus. And in other locations, we've seen Jericho had uh, armed men being involved in the fight. So for Israel, this is a situation that they want to contain. They want to prevent Palestinians from fighting. But as far as Palestinians uh, are concerned, they say that the leadership can agree on whatever it wants to agree on with Israel, but the people want an end to the occupation, and they see the armed struggle as one way of doing that. Nida Ibrahim in Ramallah. Nida, thank you very much.